All praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Allah stands in need of no one. And I give him all of the praise. I give him all of the honor. Today we're going to look at a video. And I'm going to show you something in this video. This video was me at work yesterday. I'm at work. Let's get a full screen mode popping up. There we go. So I'm at work. And I am on a tractor. I'm breaking up the follow ground. And you'll notice, as you can see, where all that grass is gone. Back there in the back. And you see all of that dirt. That stuff I had already broken up. And I notice that it's all surrounding this rock. Watch. See? I broke up that over there. Yep, this is where I zoomed in at. All of these are people. And this is the judgment. All of the nations, everyone is surrounding this rock. And this rock is going to bring the nations in judgment. As we can see right here, and we'll look at that hadith real quick. And we'll look at this real quick. Notice it says Abin Abbas. Notice this is the same name as Bilal, Abin Rabba. Notice Abba means father. Notice that everything is revolving around one person. According to to the Quran, the books are named after Al, Al, Al. Okay? This is all revolving around al Mahdi, And you'll see this. Even the companion's name is named. And, 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 and he is not the, the Abin. You got to understand that. The real Abin Abbas is the real name of God the Father. The real name of Abin Rabbah is the real name of the Father. The real name Jeremiah, you know whose name is that? That's God the Father's name. You know the name David? Guess whose name is that? That's God the Father's name. You know the name Jesus? Guess what? That's God the Father's name. All names, all of the Hebrew names, they belong to God, the Father. The messenger of Allah said about the black stone, by Allah, Allah will raise it. He's going to raise this skinny black man with a raisin head. And he's going to raise up my other half, which is the last witness. She's going to get raised up. We both are one. With two eyes. See, that's why two is inside there. Because there's two people that's going to be resurrected first. And this is seen in your Bible, if you believe it. Right there in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, the last two witnesses get resurrected three days later. Okay. 
Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection. Why would you need to raise up a rock on the day of resurrection? Because this rock is a person. It's two people, two spies, two witnesses. By which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with testifying to whoever touched it in truth. All of you, if I meet you, you can come to me, you can say you're sorry, you can give me money, you can give me gifts. I ain't going to be able to tell you nothing unless Allah gives me something to say. Other than that, if you touch me in sincerity, that revelation will be known on this day right here. If you touched me and it wasn't insincerity, you touched us and it wasn't insincerity, guess what? They're going into the judgment. And it's severe. It's severe. Okay? So, there we have this connection. And I'll go back to this video and I'll play it again. Yep, there it is. And I'm telling you, I was actually driving and doing all of that. And I actually finished it yesterday. I finished all of that. But my work assignment yesterday involved me doing a picture of judgment. It was a picture of judgment. And we know it's true. It was the 13th. It was the 13th. Okay. And that was the day I was born. I came here for judgment. I'm going to judge the world and I'll show you some more. I have nothing to hide. I can tell you the truth. The conviction of truth is in my voice. This is 2012. This is 2012. Boom. Now you're about to look and take a closer picture at the rock. That's about to judge you. This is it. Right there. It says he will have two eyes. And as you can see in this picture, I have no access to this website page. I can't access it. I don't have the password. I've been locked out of it. And this house that I'm standing in front of was actually a house I lived in. On Lily Street. Why? Because I am the Lily of the Valley. I am Ali. My name's on the moon. And I'm surrounded by bricks because I'm the skinny, black, thin-legged black man that's going to take this Kaaba apart. In Saudi Arabia. Arabia, And my wife and my kids know exactly where I'm going to take it. They know. And then you see, I have on silver pans, which is amazing. I have none today. And that silver is going into the silver surrounding the black stone on the Kaaba. And that silver actually represents... The virgins. I'm surrounded by the virgins currently at home. And their last name starts with a V. Okay. There's nobody that can say they're me. On this level. Now they're all a picture of me. But I'm actually me. And then I have on the black. That's the stone. 
And then you actually can see my tongue in my picture. And I normally keep my mouth closed in my pictures. I try my best. And I have my tongue. This is what you call a perfect picture. That was a perfect picture. Let's go back to that photo. So as you can see, you can see my tongue in that picture. And I have on the stocking cap of his stock. I'm just messing with them. <laughs> All right. I'm the original Arab. I'm the original Arabian ruler. I'm the original, okay, copy. I was used to make every person. Allah used me to make every person. Every person. Every person. Okay. The last witness that's a female was there too. She's always been too. Yep. Allah made that revelation known to me. So this is the man that's going to judge you. And this house is a little house pushed back on Lily Street in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yep. I used to live in this house. My bedroom was actually by that window. Right here, that was my bedroom. Yep, me and my brothers. Yep. So I'm going to take the Kaaba apart. Now let's get that hay deep. Let's get that hay deep. Let's get the hay deep on taking the Kaaba apart. We'll come back to that one. To get the head deep on taking the combo apart. All right. B, B, B. Why is it all these Bs? Bs, Bs, Bs. Why? Because this is the man that said, Let there be. And there was. And it was. Okay. And that's Al Maddy, Almighty Lamonti. Narrated I've been Abbas. The prophet said, peace be upon him, as if I am looking at him, a black person. I'm that black person with thin legs, plucking out the stones of the Kaaba one after another. Then it gives you another narration. Why? Why isn't it exactly? Some of them are exactly. Why isn't this one? Because it's all a metaphor and I'll show you. Narrate it. Abu Huraya. May Allah be pleased with him. May Allah be pleased with Abin Abbas. Allah's messenger. May Allah be pleased with the Prophet Muhammad. The thin legged man from Ethiopia will demolish the Kaaba. Now, Ethiopia is, if you look inside, the word has the word the. This is going into the eye, the nose, the face of the Lord. And I am that. I am the eye. Why? Because I am Israel. I am the eye. Why? Because I am Ishmael. Okay, I am the nose. Why? Because I know. I know the end. I know that I know that I know. I know like rich homie Kwan. Okay. I'm the face of the Lord. Simply put. I'm the omnipotent is what you can see inside of Ethiopia. And according to the Bible, the real Israelites would look like the Ethiopians. Let's get that scripture. Because this man that is called the Ethiopian 
is going to restart the 12 tribes of Israel. One tribe's already out. That's my son, Jeremiah, Dishon, and I named him Princeton. Didn't even know. He was a prince. He's a prince. He's Princeton Clay and his last name Clay too. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that verse. Bingo! Amos 9 and 7. Are you not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me? O children of Israel, saith the Lord, have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt? Okay? And it's going into a metaphor, because watch this. And the Philistines. Who is the Philistines? The Palestinians. The Arabs from Kaftor and the Syrians from Kerr. That is going into the seers. Now, all of this is pointing to one person. This is pointing to the father himself returning to the earth in the form of a young black man with a raisin shaped head. Why? Because he got to restart and bring Jacob again. So he has to Plant seed and three virgins, young virgins, daughters. Every woman's my daughter anyway. OK. All right. I'm the father. But I'm talking about young virgins. So therefore, my head can't be a block. <laughs> I can't be some huge monster. OK. Allah made me and, and gave me the best suit. He's given me the best earthly suit. I'm still looking young. All right. Allah's preserved me. This black over here, don't crack. Allah has done all these things. Okay. He made me in a way where I could make it. Okay. Overlooked. Not a big deal to people. Okay. I'm blending in. Why? Because I've been the hidden man and he's going to pull me out at the proper time and bring me out okay as you can see with the knowledge okay as you can see with the knowledge i just showed you right there from the hey deep let's get back to the hey deep now let's get back to the hey deep and then we're gonna go to the raisin head hey deep okay matter of fact let me smile on y'all because i like when i smile yeah the prophet said, as if I'm looking at him, a black person with thin legs. Oh, let me get my legs. I ain't playing no games. I ain't wasting none of Allah's money. Okay, I ain't wasting none of it. Boom. Playing no games. Look how thin my legs is on my ankle bone. That's rare. Look at that. Everybody I've always been around, they got these, you know, these big uh, calf bones. But my stuff is yay big. They little. Okay? I'm that man. The, your problem is you don't believe the Hadiths. And that's the reason why the Arabians came up with this authentic issue. Now they have this authentic. Oh, if it's authentic if it's authentic. Okay? If your prophet was the prophet of the hour, why would not his Hades be authentic? What's going on with you? Okay, but now Al Matty is here and I'm the prophet of the hour. And he's thin, skinny, as you can see, skinny black legs, is going to take the Kaaba. Now, Man, let me tell you something, man. I'm funny. I'm funny. I had a friend, man. Let me tell you something. 
okay? I had a friend, and this girl, this girl, we would joke around a lot, okay? And, you know, she was, you know, she had a lot of dudes trying to get at her, okay? And it, and it used to be this one dude that used to be my neighbor, and his daughter actually sung on one of my songs. All right, I still have that song today. I can find it online. This guy used to stay next door to me, almost two houses down, and he would come over. And he has some unusually very skinny legs, like at the bottom. You know, I'm not talking about at the top of his legs. I'm talking about at the bottom of his legs, his shins. And then one day, you know, year past that, uh, the girl I was with told me that he had sent her a message. And so I had told her a joke. I was like, oh, break that nigga legs. <laughs> we both would, man, I had her dying. We was rolling, okay? Because I was, you know? That's my girl, and you, you over in the inbox. You know what I mean? And she told on you, all right? And that's exactly what I said to her, and we was rolling. She would know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, there was this um, guy that used to come over. His name was Mr. Dates. Mr. Dates. And the guy has a very, very, he has very skinny legs. People in Fort Wayne know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about dates. Okay. And he used to come over my house when I was a kid. All the time. All right. I love and on me back then. Letting me know that I'm his man that's going to take the Kaaba apart and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's written. Okay, so this is all a metaphor. Ethiopia is going into words. Demolish is going into words you can spell in it. Kaaba is going into words you can spell in it. All of this is a great metaphor. All right? And if I really paid attention to it and took time off and wasn't working, I can really get something out of this. All right? But I'm getting ready to go in in a little bit. All right, now let's get the one with the raisin shaped head and we'll kill it. Because here we have a black man on top of the Kaaba waking everybody up. Why? Because that's a picture of Al Maddy the stone, whom Allah will use to raise up everybody and then judge them. That's the reason why Bilal was on top of the Kaaba, because that was a picture of the judgment day coming up. One man that's going to judge the whole world. Bilal was a picture of that. Then we have a deeps of them saying a black skinny man with thin legs going to take the Kaaba apart. All right. Another one says he's going to demolish it. Then we have this one right here. In the Sa'i al-Bakari. Why Al? Because it's my book, man. Narrated Anaz bin Malik. The prophet said to Abu Daha, listen and obey your chief. Even if he is an Ethiopian with a head like a raisin. Okay? And that's the real truth. Okay? We, me and my little brother B, we always grew up and we've had the like little heads, you know? Mine's is, you know, bigger than his, but little B is a picture of me. All my brothers is a picture of me. And having that little head paid off because that little head is going to be with some virgins. Okay? When it's all said and done. Alright? And he's going to be the ruler of the Arabs. This is why this is seen in our own Bible. Now these Arabs ain't got, they ain't going to have, they can't do nothing with me. They can't do nothing with me because Allah has trained me in the Bible first. And so I'll take you to Song of Solomon and you can go right here to chapter one. And if you go to chapter five, verse 16, right there, that word lovely. If you look at that in the Hebrew translation, that word says Muhammad. 
So the, the Muslims can't run and say, oh, the Bible is corrupted and it's and it's false. And especially on this book, they can't say that. Why? Because their prophet's name is right here in this book. It describes his hair color. It describes his skin color of him being white reddish about his hair being black. OK, it even goes into the shape of his nose going into Lebanon. All right. There's a woman right now that has a book proving that this is talking about the prophet Muhammad, the Arabian one. So right here, when you go to chapter one, what do we have? We have a Bilal in chapter one, just like we had a Bilal on top of the Kaaba. And it's in verse five. I am black. That's me. I am stands for al A A.M. But calmly, every time A.M. is mentioned when Jesus is saying, I am that wasn't Jesus talking, that was his father talking, because his father's real name is al -Madi. Duh, because I'm black, because the son Ab looked upon me. Uh-oh, so he's letting us know right now that there's going to be a problem with race. A lot of people ain't going to like it that al -Madi is black. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Okay, so this is going into the law. The vineyard is the religion, and that religion is Islam. There was a black man who was the owner of the religion we call Islam, and his name is Lamonti. Get it? Islam is Lamontis. His name is on the cover. Quran. My name is Dai Quan. I'm the real rich homie Quan. Okay, the logo looks like us. Uh, 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 it, the symbol actually looks like the Quran. Okay. I'm so excited, I, I can't even say it right. <laughs> the actual logo looks like a Quran. All right? And this man is black. And when it says Qadar, that word actually means tongue of the Arabs. This is actually where the prophet Mohammed came from. He came from the Keterites. He was an Arab. All right. And according to the Hadith, al Madi is the ruler of the Arabs. And I'm going to get that scripture in the Hadith. So you got to know how to move back and forward from the Quran to the Hadith to the Bible. Madi. Madi. I can say it however I want to say it. All right. All right. Here it is. The world will not pass away before the Arabs are ruled by a man of my family. Now, this man is a man whom Allah loves. This is the one man whom Allah loves. Okay? He's my God. He is my God. Like, I literally mean that, y'all. He's my God. You don't have a God. That's why you had the Bible. And al Madi was the God of the Bible. Okay? And the God of the Quran was al Madi's God. It might confuse you if you don't understand, but you are a God and you have a God. And the God of the Bible was a God that had a God too. Okay? And he was an heir of the worlds. That's why he could say there's no God beside me. Because he was an heir of the worlds. Okay? And he stripped himself of that deity and became a man. And will be the first to be resurrected. This is a man Allah is most pleased with. I'll show you that in the Bible again. Let's show you some more scriptures of Allah loving on this man. Okay. All right. Now look at something else people are not doing. Every believer must help him or he said respond to his sermons. Now this is what all of you are guilty of and I'm judging you. I'm judging everyone beginning from the day, and it's all recorded.
that I learned I was Al Matty and none of you helped me or responded to my sermons, although you are subscribed to me and I tell you right there on my cover photo. Don't subscribe if you're not supporting. If you're not supporting, if you're not helping this truth, you have no business on this channel. Okay, you have no business on this channel. No comments or nothing is, is even going on anyway. It's because nothing you say is important compared to what's going on right now and what's coming out of here. Okay, because I am Allah's microphone. So that's why the microphones is turned off because what you got to say is not that important. All right. Allah lengthened the day for this man because he loved him. Okay. All right. And it says seven years because it's it's really nine years. And all this stuff is metaphors. All right. Let's keep going. He will fill the earth with equity. All this stuff on the screen, you should be screenshotting. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's the love. All right. All right. I am the sign of the hour. All this stuff you should look up on Maddie because it's getting ready to go down. It's getting ready to go down. So I just showed you all that. I know there was something else I was going to show you. I showed you that Allah would lengthen the day for this man. And I want to get that. Allah lengthen the day for this man. For Maddie. He did this for me. Allah would lengthen the day. See, that's the love language. He loved me so much. He, he stopped the time. He gave me the clock. I got nine years. That's how much he loved me. And I remembered exactly what I was going to show you right here in the book of Isaiah. I'm 42 years old. Go to the 42 verse. Behold my servant whom my, I uphold, mine elect. Okay. In the Quran, it says... Or rather, the Hadiths, it says, he lengthened the day for this man, Maddie. But in the Bible, it says, he shortened the day for this man, Maddie, because another name for Maddie is the elect. I am the elect. All right? Whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delights. In other words, this is the man I am most pleased with. And this is Maddie right here in verse 1, okay? This is the man that's going to take the Kaaba apart. He's going to do all these things. All right. He's going to put the women in check. I'm going to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. All right. Popping three cherries off top. Off top. Off top. Allah's giving me the best. He saves the best for last. So I remembered everything and I showed you. You have no escape. Let's go to the other scripture. When I said shorten the days, he said he was shorten the days. Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And that's saying the same thing we just read in the Hadith. Why? We would have been in trouble because I was in Christianity. <laughs> I was in Christianity, man, and everything. Allah had to guide me through all of that and ultimately lead me right here to the house of David. At home in Islam, which is something people don't understand. They'll say, oh, how can you say you from Islam and you the house of David? Well, isn't Jesus from the house of David? Well, yeah. Well, isn't, according to the Quran, Jesus the Messiah? Oh, I can't even talk to him about Al Mahdi because that's too high of knowledge for them. When Al Mahdi is the father of the prophet Isa. So what that makes him 
if Jesus is the Messiah, what that make what that make his father? Okay, wake up. That's why Al Mahdi is an Islamic messianic figure. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.